A great perennial to use in your landscape is echinacea, otherwise known as coneflower. Echinaceas are a very durable plant. They're deer resistant, they're drought tolerant, they're pollinators, bees and butterflies love them. So all these attributes make it a very popular plant. One of my favorite things about echinacea are their colors. Traditionally, you would just see purple, but over the years, they've developed cultivars with many different colors. As you can see here, this is beautiful yellows and reds and oranges coming out. One of my favorites is sombrero. It's a red, deep orange, beautiful. Echinaceas are a full sun plant. They grow in zones three to eight, so they could pretty much grow anywhere in the continental US. I like to use echinacea in the landscape for a pop of color. So mid-June, July, I'll plant them as a border or in clumps within a garden, and they look great with hydrangeas, bee balm, butterfly bush. So if you always pair three or four things to bloom at the same time together, it will really make your garden sing. Each plant has multiple blooms, so I like to cut off the spent blooms in a process called deadheading. To deadhead, you take your bypass pruners, look at the spent bloom, follow it all the way down the stem until you get to the next fresh set of blooms. Give it a nice clean cut as close to the base as you can and wait for your next bloom to happen. They're pretty easy to divide as well. You carefully dig them up, by taking a shovel, go all the way around so you, the root ball doesn't fall apart. Take your shovel, make a clean cut in half, still trying to keep the roots all intact, and then transplant it to a new hole. There's no set time that I divide my echinacea. Just if it's outgrown the space or you want it to look different in your garden, that's when it's time to transplant. With a little bit of maintenance and care, echinaceas could be a very rewarding part of your garden. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.